In this video, you're going to be shown the basics of dimensioning. To start with, you will be dimensioning the front view. First, make sure the view is selected by double-clicking the view frame. Once selected, it will be highlighted red. Use the dimension tool and click the bottom line of the base plate. The dimension will appear. Be sure to space out dimensions to avoid it becoming cluttered. In a similar way, we can use the angle dimension tool to show the angle between the two plates, as is being shown on screen. For manufacturing purposes, a tolerance may be required for this angle. So to apply a tolerance, right click on the dimension and select properties. Next, go to the tolerance tab and select toll underscore number two in the main value option. Change the upper and lower value to one and minus one respectively. The angle dimension is impractical without a center. Using the line tool, draw the following lines. Trim the excess part of the line so that the drawing is tidy. Click on one of the lines and make it thinner and dashed by going into the line's properties. Then use the copy object format tool to change the other line into a dashed line as well. Before going into the next step, there is a useful trick you can use to ease the process. Go to Tools at the top and then click on Options. Go to Mechanical Design and click Drafting. Under the Manipulators tab, check these options and click OK. Next, click the Dimension tool and use it to determine the thickness of the upper plate. Using the same tool, add a dimension to the chamfer. However, this time, click on the red triangle shown and type in CH apostrophe F followed by a space. Next, type in space X space 45 and a degree symbol, this time using the red triangle that appears after 1.5. Now we will use the center line with reference tool on both of the edge fillets. To do so, start by clicking on the curved line, then click on the straight line so that the center line aligns with it. Next, dimension the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the respective plate. Finally, use the Radius Dimensions tool to dimension one of the edge fillets. Following this, dimension the edge fillet on the bottom plate and type in TYP after R2. In case you are wondering, TYP means typical. It is used on a repeating internal or external feature throughout the drawing. In this case, it means that all similar edge fillets have radius of 2 mm. Dimension the radius of this curved feature. And lastly, dimension the dashed lines to locate the focus of the sector. See you in the next video.